Now we're doing some empire management. I think it might be a good idea to take a look at statistics to kind of compare ourselves to where we need to be. In terms of VPs, we're not doing bad at all. We're in third place. Uh, it's kind of close between everybody else though. Uh, several factions have been destroyed. The bandits are, are here for some reason. They, uh, they don't go away, just like the barbarians didn't in Civ 5. Cultural victory points. I don't know what the difference between victory... Oh, yeah, there's victory points and there's cultural victory points. Uh, I'm not doing good in culture, am I? That's weird. I feel like I've been trying to keep that in mind. Whoa! Okay, so the Shanu are... Uh, they're kind of jolting ba past us. But then again, I'm going to settle my 10th city too. So it won't be... It won't be that that bad, actually. Population isn't... It could be a lot better, especially considering the fact that... Well, the, the Shanu are at just a little bit ahead of me. I think we're doing well overall. Um, good. The Shanu actually have, have a worse military than we do. So maybe that says something. Maybe that says something about some of these nations that are playing taller and now they have a bigger military strength. Battles fought. We fought... We have not fought that many battles compared to everybody else. I don't know, that's really strange. Civilian units killed, no civilians have been killed. Uh, or enemy civilian units at least. And yeah, we're pretty subpar in terms of uh, enemy soldiers killed. Huh. Really weird. Our own soldiers killed, whoa! The Ba have not been doing good. They've not been doing good at all. Oh, this is what I want to do. Construction development. Okay, so... It looks like I'm pretty middle of the road in terms of construction. So I've been doing, I guess, okay. I don't feel like I've been doing okay. Obviously, someone that grasps the game a little bit better probably could be running away with the victory right now. But, um, oh, we have to go here, huh? Because we can't sit on the marsh. I'd rather go next to... Yeah, let's go that way. Let's have everybody go this way, too. So let's go that way and then try to figure it out from there. Uh, we're doing... We're going crazy for the farms. Going crazy, for, or at least trying to go crazy for the farms, and uh, and then you guys need to come back towards the capital, group up with the with the the heir. We don't have an, or I guess he's not the heir anymore. We have a new king. This new king needs to get his his love making on. If that does not sound really creepy and strange, he needs to though, because I don't have another heir. He's my new king. Oh, another sickness. You better not die, dude. Where's their sickness? Army efficiency reduced by twenty. That's fine. I'm probably gonna delete you anyways. <laughs> so that's not even a big deal. So just make it through the forest, please. Maybe Is it because they're going through the marsh? I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. I don't know. Okay, farm, and then we've got ourselves self another culture or technology and crafts. So do I have to get all this stuff before I go to the next era? It looks like I kind of do. That kind of looks like the case. All right, next turn. Please get over there. So we'll have a rhinoceros, and then we should be able to get something with these these fish. Hope that there's a few more other resources. Can we reach down over here? Also, look at this huge. This is this is a navigable river, but that looks like an ocean. It certainly looks like we're like in an ocean or something. Okay, let's slap the uh, slap the city down. We might need to chop down some forests too. Disease out outbreak where? Well, as long as it's not the capital. News of what? Oh, I was gonna say a fire in Chu. Okay, they're better not, I don't want to see any of those bad events happening near me. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, so is there anything special that I can build? Oh, I can build a... Is that a K? Qua? I don't know. Uh, let's build one of those. I don't know what that, that's going to do. Oh, it's going to cost me a lot of money, though. Enables waterborne trade. Yes. Okay, I like trade. Let's do that. Can we build any roads, too? Can we get it like a road going to? Uh, this is gonna be pretty crazy, but okay, let's do that. I don't know what. I don't know if because you know the longer we have peasants doing things, they're gonna be more and more upset. So I'm not sure if all that work that we just forced them into could be kind of a lot. But I I would like the. This looks like it's a huge center, a huge river, so it might be a huge center for trade. That would be great if that's the case. How freaking big is this map? It's huge. It's humongous. Why is this map so huge? That's what I want to know. Oh, no, no, no. Another disease. We need to get a technology to reduce some of these disease effects because this thing is scary. Okay, I just need to get to 37 population. That's all I need. And then I can I can purchase the next, the next big thing that I need. 
Um, do I want to continue? Well, I'm at 340. I I'm going to keep the armies here because I'm, I'm worried. Yeah, I'm going to keep the army. I'm, I'm worried that if I delete any more units, we're going to look really weak. I don't know if the Chu would attack us. I'm not super concerned about the Chu, though. We need to get cavalry because I'm sure their movement is probably amazing. Uh, good. Roads are being built. So you might be able to zoom through this. I wonder if there's a fast... I wonder if there's just a fast like cutscene or fast thing through this. Maybe. Okay, good. Progress. I'm trying to make it to the next era. If we can make it to the next era within... Like, soon. Increases farm food production. Okay. We could have used that a long time ago, but uh, that's fine. Yeah, these farmlands are looking good now. I'm wondering also how much what bandits, how bandits are going to change into the next era. And then how, yeah, how just, just in general, like what happens there. Um, we're at 38. I still have him working on several other farms. Okay, we don't care about that. That's fine that this road has been built. How are you guys looking now? Still at two population. You're fine overall. Oh, so I did do that boat thing, right? Uh, I did, but it. I don't think it's queued up yet. I don't think we can. It might take some time. The thing was expensive. And I and you're saying that I still have all this money. I really don't, you know, I know that I shouldn't be saving, you're not really supposed to be saving all this money. Hey, what? Oh, I can build another farm, or a settler. Oh, I should. Oh, I'm at 3,000 gold. Holy crap, how did I get this much gold? Well, that's good. Let's get up another, let's do it then. Boom. Where would this guy go, though? I'm guessing up this river. There's a huge mountain range to our south, so I don't really want to go anywhere around there. We should be exploring probably here. Uh, I'm guessing we no longer are... Yeah, we can now use do something in some of these settlements. I'd like to build a wall. Okay, uh, a, a large earth wall or whatever that thing is called. That'd be nice. Hmm. I think we have to go up this way with the settler. So that's what we'll do. I'm a little bit concerned. I'm going to go up this way, and if I need to recruit something from Ben, then I will. I might do something small, like a small noble spearman or something. This The settler should be safe, though, coming up here. And maybe I should also try to expand my borders, build more farms so that my, my borders are touching more. All right, so knowledge. We want flaming rock, flaming arrows. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Whatever that sounds anything like that sounds like it's a something I, I definitely want 39 perfect, so you should be at 40 population next which means that we'll have an upgraded city Soon enough. I think it's kind of late in the game for me personally. I feel like I probably should have gotten a late uh, an upgraded city by now Also, how do I go to next the next era? Why is this becoming so difficult? There we go. All right so we're gonna build that. It's gonna cost two thousand, but it's gonna give me. It's gonna give me more building slots. It's not telling me what it's building me, but, and it's gonna allow me to continue to grow too. So, we don't want to stop with the farms yet. I want to continue to get the farms up. Keep going more and more. With the farms, we don't want to stop. Hey, it's already look. Oh, it, it does look. It's starting to look bigger. How long does that take to build? Oh, we already got it. Really? And now I can upgrade it to, like, a, a city or something? At least 100. Dang. I thought we already had a palace. I swear we had a palace. Isn't just for... Well, we can find out right here. Yes, we do not have a palace, so the palace is next. We gotta do it. So there goes all my money. Got up a settler, upgraded a settlement, and I'm getting a palace. So all my money's gone. But, you know, we're making money fast. I don't know how we're gonna take this city. This thing is ridiculous ridiculous I don't know why that was so hard we we're losing so many people okay give me to the next era I'd really like that please increase the chi culture a Taoist temple I like that oh we get to choose religion authority culture uh, a temple sounds fun 
I should probably go for something speedy though. Like that, that doesn't take too long. Ugh, I don't really want culture. So I don't really know what a Confucius temple. I don't know what the differences are going to be. Enables construction of a court. Okay, let's go with authority and the court. So I can keep expanding through settling instead of going to war. Because I don't know what war is going to be like soon enough when we have all these different military units out there. Oh, okay. Um, now, bandits can pop up anywhere. Let's just play it safe. We're making a bunch of money. We want to go to the north gate. And just, just, just one. We don't need much more than just one. What's this? Copper mine? I cannot... Oh, I can build that. A copper mine? Generates income of 50. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> okay, you you, ha you got me there. Bam. That's a lot of money too, but, you know. 50 extra income. That sounds great. Okay, so I'll meet you here. Yeah, no, I'll meet you there. I'm at 15 authority now. Again, still no error. That's scary. Still no error, which is not good. So immediately, I'm starting to think maybe I'm just so used to Civ Five and turn off animations, but I'm I'm hoping that there's a way to stop these animations. I don't need all this. It's got to be faster in between turns. If we're gonna go, if if the game is you know default 300 turns, it's got to move a lot faster. I think so. Hoping that that takes place soon enough. These roads are finishing up. Do I need to build any roads here now? Because I might need to. There, I'm gonna go to there. Because I know I didn't finish that. Dang, the capital's already at 44. And we still have lots of farms, right? Yeah, we we're, we're still have queued up farms. We want to go like that. Who's not moving? Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. So come here, like, first, and then I'll try to think of a, a good area. Oh, here's here's copper. So I could I could just go there. I mean... We've been really reliant on copper. I don't know if I want to continue to rely on copper. Can I build something there? Or did the dog build something there? Can we share it? I don't know. But I do have a lot of copper. Oh, yeah. What is that? I've been wondering about that. Jade. I don't... I think that's outside of our range. Yeah, that's outside of our... I think that's more... I don't know if it's 12 hexes or something... But it looks like it. New error. Okay, there we go. So who are you? Zero authority, zero battles of one. This man has been nominated as your leader's heir. Should the leader die, he will assume power. Okay, so he kind of sucks right now. We should probably get him into some, you know, some battles or something, right? Get a, get his get his legacy up. Got to get this dude's legacy up. Okay, how much money do I have? I've got a little bit of money. Barracks. So what do we want to build? Adds four to the trained army recruitment pool. Trained archers. Adds three trained horsemen recruitment pool. There we go. Stables. Weapon. Smith. Uh, I think number one priority for sure is get up these stables. So let's wait one more turn. Why am I losing money? Why Why did I lose money? Okay. And yeah, by the way, can I, can I do something here? That's going to be a copper pit. Oh, did I lose this? Because I did. Because it got taken. So we need to we need to rebuild that too. Okay. But let's build the stables first and then worry about like the copper pits and stuff a little bit later. I might even delete some of these some of these certain units. Is my boatyard done? Cuz I'm trying to get this boatyard as soon as possible. 12 turns, dang. What's up with that? Uh I'm seeing no place to settle. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe this was a terrible idea. Okay, give me those dang stables. Finally. I, I haven't even seen what horse units look like so far, so... I've been pretty sad. Population sucks in certain parts of the Empire. Still, it's not, it's not getting too much better. We want to get up that copper mine pit. Not the... Or the copper mine instead of the pit. The pit doesn't make as much money. So, if we can prioritize that next... That would be good. Maybe even getting up a few horses. It's going to do that to the recruitment pool. I also need to keep in mind that, like, this is where we generate, like, most of the recruits from the capital. But I've got a, a large portion of my empire is out here in the west. So one of these big cities, probably this one, 
with lots of population needs to be like that needs to fill that order um, yes you need to finish this road here so like to there and then that that road is being that, that road will be finished you cannot build why there are no sites suitable for why not you know what do oh I can't chop any of these forests down either what the hell what's going on with that I was trying to make it easier to get to the other part of my empire but I guess not there we go okay so I'll settle there I guess I don't think I have any, any other choice I wonder what dictates like where I can settle and where I can't it's kind of weird to me so I don't I don't know I should be exploring though I should definitely be exploring what I think I'll do is uh, at least with these guys I'm just gonna set you on auto explorer yeah we're gonna do that with all these guys oh but I, uh, I want to do just singles though like don't all go out and explore it's uh, whatever just try your best <laughs> try your best to figure it out I could I guess I could do it manually if I have to all right so there goes that is uh, the stable still being built in the in the capital our capital looks pretty awesome though especially without any walls oh maybe that's why you know what because they upgraded they the dog had like either a palace or maybe they upgraded their settlement so that's why their stuff looks cooler and it probably helped their defense a lot more there's the copper mine pit which is perfect so yeah we're making a lot of money now now let's go back to here and uh, copper mine copper pit okay it's not copper mine pit Drew come on dude get it get it together so we have to wait till next turn that's what everybody's telling me Drew get it together all the time and I think most of our, our roads will be finished is the stable done yet because when the stables done, well I can't I need to build the the pit first this is gonna be a far city but you know whatever and uh, go ahead and explore too so tell me you guys did not okay well well just do that just try your best <laughs> Again, try your best, and then I will have everyone go out. I don't want to manually explore them, though. That's ridiculous. We've just got to have them. And we've got to send something over here, too. I might buy something cheap or delete something back in the capital. I feel like with the stables, it'd be much easier to explore with them, assuming that they move a lot faster. All right, that's, that's fine. You're sick. There goes the stables. So... Yes, just for the sake of things, just to explore something new. Trained horsemen. Oh my gosh, why is it so expensive? 55. And I can't even recruit these guys yet. Why is that? Dang, their attack is hardcore. Only powerful lord can afford to field a significant force. Is it because... Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, I don't want to recruit any of these, but this is my dude. I'm going to want to get a few of those up next time we attack a city. But anyways, we're going to stop right there. Definitely feel like we're managing this uh, this game a lot better than we were in the first part of the series. Obviously, my number one priority right now is to fix the economy and just get the best economy that we can. We're playing really tall, so you would think that we'd have lots of resources all around. Um, so we just need to kind of manage that a little bit better. Building more bazaars will probably help. Uh, but I want lots of money so I can get as many of those horsemen as I can. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.